TV4 News at 6 starts now. It's being called severe sexual harassment. Good evening, I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Yanji Denise. A federal agency has just slapped Panda Express with a lawsuit after employees complained they were sexually harassed daily and for years. KITV Force Laura Yamada is in the newsroom with this story. Laura? Yanji Kenny, according to a lawsuit filed today, this all transpired at the Panda Express in, Kaua in Kapa'a on Kauai. Several teenage employees say they were relentlessly harassed by their supervisor and say even his boss did nothing about it. You had at least three young women that we know of who, this was their first job, working, you know, as high school girls. The lewd details are now pouring out of a federal lawsuit where for years, teenage girls working at this Panda Express on Kauai say they were harassed daily by their supervisor. Nobody would do anything about it? No. We reached Shalea Rodeo Workman by phone. She says after six months of what's being called severe inappropriate physical contact, she finally quit. You know, you have a broomstick on my legs, lock me in the freezer, call me names, compare fruit and vegetables as it's private. He would, I would be washing dishes, he would come and love up on me. Mimicking sexual activity with vegetables, grabbing female employees from behind, thrusting a broom handle between a girl's legs. Workman says when she complained, instead of her supervisor being punished, she was, with reduced hours followed by poorer working conditions. I didn't know what to do already. Now, it wasn't just the Kauai managers who knew about this. According to the lawsuit, the girls complained to the manager who oversees the Kauai location and the locations here on Oahu several times. We talked to that manager by phone. He says he's now looking for a lawyer. The EEOC was deeply concerned about the egregious nature of this sexual harassment. The EEOC says the sexual harassment went on since at least 2008. Malik says attorneys engaged in several rounds of negotiations with the parties involved, but failed to reach a resolution, so they filed a lawsuit. Decisive action after a lot of damage done. These were high school girls in Kapa'a who were affected by it, the fact that they were coming forward and complaining and nothing was being done. The EEOC says they believe the Kapa'a supervisor and manager named in their lawsuit no longer work at the Kauai Panda Express. Malik says they've updated their Youth at Work page on their website to give workers the information they need to avoid discrimination and harassment at work. Back to you.